السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ We're here for another program of Kids Time and we hope the viewers all over the world are enjoying and learning with us. Kya hal hai bachcho aap sab ka? Alhamdulillah. Pyare bachcho jaise ki aapko pata hai ki aajkal hum apne programs mein namaz yaad kar rahe hain. Namaz ko uski duaon ko yaad karte hain aur uske tarjume ko yaad karte hain. To aaj ki dua kaun sa bachcha sunayega? Saqib أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا عذاب النار أولا ما شاء الله پیارے بچوں نارملی جب ہم دعا دعا پڑھتے ہیں تو ہم اپنے پروگرام میں اس سے پہلے تعوذ و تسمیہ نہیں پڑھتے ہیں لیکن کیونکہ یہ قرآن مجید میں بھی یہ دعا آئی ہے اس لیے ثاقب نے پہلے اس سے تعوذ اور تسمیہ کو پڑھا ہے ٹھیک ہے اب کوئی ٹرانسلیشن رہے گا نوید as well as good in the world to come and protect us from the torment of the fire. Good. Let's skip it. Urdu translation? Yes, Naveed. In our well done, mashallah. So what we've got is some questions that we're going to ask, but we're going to do it a bit differently today. And so rather than you putting your hands up, we've got a little box and all your names are in there. So Hassan is going to pick out a name. And so whoever's name comes up has to answer the first question. Okay, Hassan. Mike there, Hassan. Go. Huda. Huda. Okay, so Huda has to ask the first question. The question is, where is this prayer written? I think uh, Baji Mansura answered the question for you, to, for you a few minutes ago. So you might have this quite, quite an easy one. Dua. Anyone else? Next. Sarah? Is it chapter 2, verse 202? Well done of the Holy Quran. Quran. Good, well done, mashallah. mashallah. <laughs> I was just expecting the Holy Quran to be answered, not the whole verse and chapter. Well done. Okay, good. Okay, good. Next one. Next one. Okay, let's <laughs> answer the question. Um, what's the meaning of Hasana? means um, success and reward in English, but in a Martin Udo. Good, well done. Next one. Sorry. Everybody's on ten hooks to see who's gonna, whose name's going to come out next. Naveed. Naveed. Naveed ka naam aaya. Aap ye bataayen ki aag se kya murad hai isme jo hai kya Allah hume آگ کیا ہوتی ہے فائر وہ کیا کیا اس کی اس میں کیوں لکھا گیا کہ اللہ میاں آگ سے ہمیں بچائے ہم لکھا ہے اس لیے جب پین ہوتے ہیں فائر جیسے پین ہوتا ہے جب ٹچ کرتے ہیں فائر جب پین ہوتا ہے کہ ہم چوٹ لگے وہ بھی فائر ہوتا ہے کتنی قسم کس طرح کی ہوتی ہے کیا قسم ہوتی ہے آگ کو ضروری تو نہیں وہ نظر آتی ہے آگ آپ کو کیا ہوتا ہے ہم um, you can f um, feel the fire l um, like it's pain. Yes, yes. If you want to save it, it's also like this. Sometimes we have tensions in the world, that's also a kind of thing. And the other thing is that when we are jealous, is there any jealousy? Yes, there is. 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 Yes,
کسی کے پاس بڑی ویڈیو گیم ہے کسی کے پاس یہ ہے ہمارے پاس نہیں ہے تو یہ بھی ہوتا نا So if you, if you get jealous, if you get angry, then this is a nice du'a to read, um, to try and um, ask Allah's help so that you can stop doing those things. Um, because what, as, as uh, Mansur Abadji said, that we're asking Allah's protection from the fire. So it's not, a, it's not always a physical fire. It's not that you touch the fire and you get burnt, but it's um, the, the anger you feel, the fire you feel inside yourself to make you angry or make you upset. Good. جس میں ہر وہ چیز جو جو آپ کو تکلیف دیتی ہے جو آپ کو ہرٹ کرتی ہے تو وہ چیز جو ہے وہ تو اس ایسی صورت میں ہمیں یہ دعا پڑھنی چاہیے کہ خدا تعالیٰ ہمیں اس دنیا میں بھی اور آخرت میں بھی آ کے عذاب سے بچائے سو ایز مسر ابا جی وسنگ از ار آسکنگ اللہ از ہیلپ فور پروٹیکشن فرام دا فار ان دی ان ان دا ورلڈ ٹو کم سو دیٹس دا دا پنشمنٹ وی مائی گیٹ فار ڈوئنگ تھنگس دیٹ رانگ ہیئر بٹ آلسو دا فائر دیٹ وی مائی فیل ان دس ورلڈ وچ از اینگر جیلسی Um, maybe not liking somebody, maybe feeling hurt because somebody's done something to us. So this is a nice prayer that we ask Allah's protection to look after us from all these things. Okay, Fareed? Okay, Fareed's in the next one. Fareed, what's your name? Okay, Fareed, please tell us that this prayer that we read in the prayer, what do we read in the prayer? We read in the prayer. Well done. Good. Okay, Fareed, what's your name? Good. Good answer. Um, as Fareed said, is that after the Durood Sharif in the Salat, <laughs> We can, there are a few prayers that we can say, and this is one of them. So we're going to move on to the Hadith shortly, um, and we'll come back to the box. But before we do that, um, I think somebody's got a Nazm prepared for us. Okay, Sayara, go ahead. <coughs> Beautiful voice, Sayara. It's lovely to hear. MashaAllah. Let's go again. We're going to go to the next program. So now it's the Hadith. Someone will listen to the Hadith. Saliha? Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ala Muhammadin kama salli ta ala Ibrahima wa ala ala Ibrahima inna ka hamid majid. اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد شكرا well حديث جي مدبر كل أمن زبال لا يبدأ فيه بالحمد لله فهو أقطع Translation. Jee Varisha. Mike Danson. Har ahem kaam jo khuda ta'ala ki hamd ke baghair shuru kiya jai wo pe barkat rehta hai. And in English. Um, Naveed. Our Lord. Grant Every matter. Every matter of importance which is not begun with the praise of Allah remains without blessings. What does that mean? Should we go back to the box? Yeah, let's do the box. Let's go back to the box. Then you enjoy the box. Okay. It's fun, isn't it? Who's name is coming out and who's coming out. Okay. Let's go back to the box. Yes.
मरीशा को डर लग रहा है कि मेरा नाम ना निकले <laughs> Okay, so um, in this hadith, name one important matter. So the hadith says every matter of importance which is not begun with the praise of Allah remains without blessing. Name one important matter. So if you start uh, something without, without the blessing of Allah. So what's the important matter that you're starting? Um, go on, go on, a test. Yeah. Uh, Eating. The eating, yeah, good. That's an important matter that you have to start with the with the name of Allah. क्या हो सकता है अगर आपने मतलब आपने कुछ खा लिया ऐसा तो क्या होगा उसमें क्यों पढ़ना जरूरी है थोड़ा जम्स कैन गो इन इट सो वे आस्किंग फॉर अल्लाह ब्लेसिंग्स टू प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम वॉट एवर वॉट एवर कैन हैपन ओके नेक्स्ट नेम पास करें आगे पास जी यू गॉट इट ऑलरेडी सजीला सजीला गॉट द बॉक्स ऑलरेडी ऊपर देख के मुझे लगता है दानियाल का नाम निकलेगा देखिए स्माइल कर रहा है स्माइल कर रहा है दानियाल दानियाल ही निकले चलो ये तो बहुत अच्छा हुआ जी दानियाल ओके सो व्हाट इज बरकत व्हाट इज बॉट ब्लेसिंग्स ब्लेसिंग्स आर रिवॉर्ड फ्रॉम अल्लाह रिवॉर्ड्स फ्रॉम अल्लाह ओके गुड आंसर वेल डन सो व्हाट काइंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रिवॉर्ड्स व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय रिवॉर्ड्स फ्रॉम अल्लाह Um, kind of like re- rewards from Allah for like you know like if you go to a theme park you need tokens to go on a certain ride. Yeah, good. So blessings are kind of like that. Yeah, you get more and more you, blessings for all the good things you do. Yeah, that's a really good example. So I like that example. Next. Okay, who's next? Marisha. आपको क्यों लगता है कि अल्लाह का नाम लेना बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि फिर अल्लाह मियाँ आपके साथ होता है और अल्लाह मियाँ की बरकत भी जो काम आप करने लगे हैं उसमें बरकत की बरकत शामिल हो जाती है उसमें आयजा भी अपना नाम खुद ही निकालेगी सजीला सजीला Yes. Yes. What did you start? In my school, we were doing free technology, and um, we had our first practical today after a long time. And um, we 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 were told to cut cut cucumbers, carrots, and um, pepper, basically vegetables. And then I said, um, I said Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And then whatever I done was very safe. <laughs> Good. Well done. देखिए बच्चों जो काम सजीला ने किया वो इजी नहीं है लेकिन उसने क्योंकि अल्लाह ताला का नाम लेकर वो काम शुरू किया था तो खुदा ताला ने उसमें बरकत डाली और उसका काम भी आसान हो गया ठीक है तो मुसर बाजू वाज सेइंग दैट द थिंग दैट सजीला वाज डूइंग इट माइट नॉट हैव बीन इजी बट बिकॉज़ शी डिड इट विद द नेम ऑफ अल्लाह एवरीथिंग वर्क्ड आउट फॉर द बेस्ट शी ट्राइड हार्ड एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ अल्लाह शी डिड इट रियली वेल जी नाहिया नाहिया ही कैन पिक आउट द लास्ट वन आइजा Isa okay Isa do we really need Allah's blessings um yes we do need Allah's blessings um because if you're doing a test and you've studied really hard and you've you've tried everything and and you've done your best and you've done the test it's not going to you're, you're not going to get anywhere if you don't pray to Allah and you need Allah's help for everything yeah. because he created you and he's and he knows what's going to happen and even if you don't pass the te- pass the test Allah knows what's best for you and what's bad for you yeah good Shabash. that's really good answer because sometimes we pray for things that aren't good for us um and we don't get them and sometimes we think oh i've really prayed for that but allah didn't give it to me but we don't know that that thing that we prayed for might not have been good for us and that's why allah didn't give it to us okay so that's a good answer well taken liye bhi hota hai ke jab aap koi bhi kaam karte hain dua karke karte hain to hum us pe pura 100% to nahi de sakte na आखिर इंसान है हमसे गलती हो जाती है बट जब हम खुदा तला का फजल मांग लेते हैं उसका नाम लेके शुरू करते हैं तो अल्लाह ताला उसमें बरकत भी डाल देता है जी नेक्स्ट 
سالیہ اگر ہم کوئی کام شروع کر لیتے ہیں اور ہم بھول جاتے ہیں اللہ کا نام لینا تو پھر بھول جانا چاہیے پھر وہ اگر یاد بھی آئے تو اس کو دوبارہ لینا چاہیے کہ کوئی بات نہیں اب تو کام شروع ہو گیا جی لینا چاہیے Um, Salia, that was a really good answer. So when we, when sometimes we always make, we, sometimes we make mistakes, we forget. So when we forget, then we have to remind ourselves if we remember in the middle or if somebody reminds us, we can always ask Allah's blessings in the middle because we have to remember that however good we are, whatever good we do, we're never going to be perfect because we always make mistakes. So the only being that is perfect is Allah. So we can't be perfect, but we ask Allah's help in doing whatever we can so we can be the best that we can. Okay. یعنی ہمیں جب بھی یاد آئے جس وقت بھی ہمارے ذہن میں آئے ہمیں اللہ کا نام لینا لے لینا چاہیے کیونکہ خدا تعالیٰ کا فضل ہمیں حاصل ہو جاتا ہے ٹھیک ہے نیکسٹ ہے کوئی کچھ نہیں بس کوشچنس ختم ساکیب ساکیب آپ کی نیکسٹ ٹائم باری آئے گی ہے نا ہاں جی مزہ آیا آپ لوگوں کو دانیال کو آج بہت مزہ آ رہا ہے آپ دیکھیں سارے بچے آج آج دانیال کی کلاس لگی تھی دیکھو کتنا ہنس رہا ہاں اب باقی دیکھیں کس کس کی باری آنی ہے تو کتنے رہ گئے ہیں اس میں He was the very first Pakistani person to get win a Nobel Prize. Nobel Prizes are given to the best, the best of the best people in their field, and he got one in physics. Now, somebody asked him, how did you become so great? How did you get all these achievements? And he said that everything I started was with the guidance of the Quran. So what he meant by that is everything he began was with the praise of Allah. And because he praised Allah in everything he did, he achieved such greatness that even now, many years after he, he won that Nobel Prize, which was a long time ago, people are still talking about him and still remembering him. As Shazia Baji told us that our very big scientist, Nobel Inam Jafta, Dr. Abdus Salam, ان سے کسی نے جب پوچھا کہ آپ نے اتنا بڑا کام اتنا بڑا کارنامہ کیسے سر انجام دیا تو انہوں نے یہ کہا تھا کہ میں نے ساری گائیڈنس قرآن کریم سے حاصل کی تھی تو جہاں پہ قرآن کریم سے ہمیں یہ ملتا ہے کہ ہم اس کو ہمیں گائیڈنس ملتی ہے سائنس کے بارے میں بھی وہاں پہ ہمیں دوسرے معاملات میں بھی جو ہے وہ ہمیں یہ قرآن کریم کو پڑھنے سے اس کی تلاوت کرنے سے ہمیں ثواب ملتا ہے اور اس کی برکت حاصل ہوتی ہے تو اس لیے ہم سب کو چاہیے کہ ہم تمام دعاؤں کو اپنے روز روز مرہ کی زندگی میں استعمال کریں اور اس کو بار بار پڑھیں سو ٹوڈے وٹ وی ڈو از وی گین ہیو الیکٹ ڈسکشن اباؤٹ انفارمیشن ٹیکنالوجی ان دا میڈیا اینڈ دا پروز اینڈ کانس ویدر اٹس گڈ اور ویدر اٹس بیڈ سو دا گرلس گن ٹیل سم گڈ تھنگس اباؤٹ اٹ اینڈ دا بوائز گن ٹیل سم بیڈ تھنگس اینڈ دین وی گن ہیو الیکل کنکلوژن اباؤٹ وٹ وی تھنک ایٹ دی اینڈ ذرا اچھا رہے گا نا بچیاں فائدے بتائیں گی اور آپ لوگ اس کے نقصانات بتائیں اور ون بائی ون ایک سجیلا سجیلا کو مائک دیں ایک بڑی یوزفل چیز یہ ہے کہ آپ انٹرنیٹ کے اوپر السلام کے اوپر جا کے ہمارے پیارے آقا کے ہم فرائیڈے سیمنس دیکھ سکتے ہیں خطبہ دیکھ سکتے ہیں جو آپ نے ابھی تک تھوڑے سے مس کی ہیں تو آپ اس کے اوپر ٹیک اپ لے سکتے ہیں اور ایک اور چیز تھی کہ میں کیونکہ قرآن ابھی یاد کر رہی ہوں تو میں جاتی ہوں السلام کے اوپر اور ادھر بہت سارے کاریوں کی آواز ہیں تو ان کے اوپر میں کسی کی سنتی ہوں اور پھر اچھی طرح تلفظ بھی ٹھیک ہو جاتا ہے Mm. Mm. It's Mashallah. very useful things. Um, uh, Sajila was saying that we can go on Al-Islam if we've missed the, the Friday sermon of our beloved Hazur, either Ladala bin Asil Aziz. If we've missed the, the Friday sermon or we've missed bits of it, then we can go back and listen. Mm-hmm. Or you can watch it at the weekend at any time. It's always available. And as Sajila was saying, she's um, learning the Holy Quran off by heart. So mm-hmm. it's helpful for her to go in and she can find the bit that she's learning and she can listen to it and then she can learn mm-hmm. the correct pronunciation. Mashallah. So that, that's a very good um, pro of, of that. What, what are the boys going to come back with? Um, yes, um, Daniel. Once I was in Pakistan, 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 I
was on the internet and I was researching for my schoolwork for science and I was watching this video on YouTube and suddenly all these pop-ups kept on coming off on my computer and I couldn't get them all off. Okay, so what you're saying is that although you were trying to do something good with the internet and doing some research, but these pop-ups came up which might not have been good things on there and mm. you just didn't want to see them. Mm. Um, okay, so that's a, that's a, a good con. <laughs> okay, um, girls? Isa? Mike there. Well, maybe because if you go on the internet and search these things, my parents don't allow me to go on the computer without them sitting behind me watching me so if i go on on a website my parents have to have to know it yeah. so they know if because i'm not normally allowed youtube so because these um the pop -ups. like daniel said yeah. pop-ups can come and my um and if i'm watching youtube my parents will put it on for me and i because i don't know the quran i know how to read the quran and I, and I'm working on my pronunciation. I normally go on Yasin al Quran, which is a program on TV, and we can re and we can go on it on YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. And it's on MTA to help us with our pronunciation. Good. All right, boys. I think the girls are winning at the moment. I think the girls are winning at the moment because they keep mentioning Al Islam. See, <laughs> Instead of um, going on the internet or on YouTube um, to search um, the pronunciations and things, you could go to Al Hafizun yeah. or learn from someone instead of going to the internet because it can damage your eyesight. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the app not there? You use internet. Use it. Uh, only a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> And it can waste mm. the electricity and go mm. to your bills and then you have to pay a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. True. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Very concerned about saving your parents' money. Mm -hmm. Very important. <laughs> Good boy. Um, Ciara. Well, the internet is also very useful as I learned Nazim from Al Islam. Mm. So the Nazim you learnt today was that yeah. you learnt from that good. Yeah, and also, um, it ha it um, when you have people around the world like relatives, you might want to keep in touch with them. And the internet's very useful because you have fast, quick communication. Yeah. Because in the olden days, they used to have to write letters, and maybe it would take months to reach the destination. Mm. Now, it, l like emailing only takes like a few seconds. हम आपकी बात पे trust करते हैं आपने नज़म बहुत अच्छी सुनाई ठीक है yeah that's that's हाँ, true yeah, the people live all over in different places and it's very hard to stay in touch you're right in, in the in the olden days it would have um, people would have had to write letters and it would have taken months and months mm. for for people to be able to communicate with each other okay okay yeah Fareed? Sarah said that you can use um websites on the computer like Facebook um and Twitter, what if some someone wanted to make friends with you and um, they weren't actually the age or the person they are actually t telling you? They're saying they are, yeah. So you have to be very careful when you go on a certain websites and you have to be very careful. And as Isa was saying, was that, you know, you, you shouldn't go on any of these without your parents being with you and supervising. And you shouldn't be having them in your own bedroom. They should be in a, pr a public place so that your parents can see what you're doing at all times. And of course, every, lots of people have it on phones now and on tablets. And again, you should only be using these in front of your parents, not in your own rooms on your own. Naveed ko baat hansi aari hai, mera khal Naveed ne koi friends banaya hai. Banaya hai aapne friends? Nahi banaya. Hansi kyu aari hai? Okay, next. Chee, Parisha? The internet school ke liye bhi achcha ta hai, homework ke liye. Aur kya? हमारे स्कूल में हम इटली के बारे में पढ़ रहे थे तो टीचर ने हमें टास्क दिया था कि कोई चीज बना के आनी है घर से जो आपने इटली के बारे में है और मैंने घर में इंटरनेट से रेसिपी देख के मैंने पिज़्ज़ा बनाया था इटालियन पिज़्ज़ा बनाया माशाल्लाह 
and there's um, lots of recipes so you can make. What do you put on it? What do you put on it? Shimla Merich is looking at it. Cheese is also looking at it. Yes, cheese and sweet corn and I made chicken pizza. Wow. Good job. I feel hungry. Shazi, what do you feel? And then uh, you can go and cook for, for mum and dad so mum has a night off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and you've been very helpful. 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 Hassan? Have you made anything? No. No? If you're playing video games, yeah. um, when your mum calls you from Namaz, you will, you will keep on playing, playing and you will get distracted. Yeah. So you... So you won't um, read Namaz, yeah. mm -hmm. and and then you you'll get addicted. Yeah. I don't want to. Just a few more minutes. It's not fair. Yeah. What happens? 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 कैसे पाऊं करते हो? Mama two minutes रहते हैं देख लो and then there's actually around ten minutes left and it's really getting late for namaz and then um your mom keeps shouting and shouting and that's just not being um respectful because she has to keep shouting and you're like keep watching and not listening and ignoring her. Yeah, good play acting. Good done. I'm sure you don't behave like that at all, though. No, this is not a good thing. This is not a good thing. Okay. Let's ask God. Let's ask God. Okay. I'm the fern. I go on crown classes these days, so I'm getting better at it. And at home, I've made this set of loom bands from the internet, the charm bows. And I made a bracelet. A necklace set. Mashallah. Oh, mashallah. Just hold it up. And I think Ciara's also made something. I made this like board with all the different things I've made. It says you, did you learn about how to make all of these from the internet? Yeah. Um, I've made some bracelets, some figures, and some charms. So I've just got different labels near them. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, about five minutes. Oh, so it's very quick. <laughs> Like this? You're very fast. I think you must be very fast with them. Okay. Let's check it out. Sakib. Sakib is very serious. Sakib is very serious. Sakib will talk about something. Instead of making things from the internet, you can use your mind and make things. Yes, that's true. You can. Okay. So I think what we've learned is that the internet can be very good and modern, modern means of communication can be very good, but they're also there may be a bad aspect to it. So we've got to remember when we're doing this, Islam teaches us that we should go the middle path. Okay? We shouldn't be too much involved in it or not use it at all. We should use the middle path. So obviously, you know, for using Al-Islam and for finding things out, for researching, for work, for school, all those things it's good for. But playing so much on the computer that you miss your namaz time is not good, is it? No. Um, so we do things in, in, um, as a medium, in the middle. So we, do, we, we can do those things, but we have to be careful when we're doing them so that we're not spending too much time. And as I said before, we do it in, a, um, in an open room where our parents are with us and they can see what we're doing at all times. As um, Shazia Bhaji has told us that Islam gives us a Mian Aravi. If something is good or bad, you have some benefits, some benefits, some benefits, so you should be prepared for a Mian Aravi. You should see good things and you should be able to get a benefit from it. But you should not have to adopt bad things. Yes, Nahia, tell me, what did you learn? For Nasrat class, I made some cakes. In Nasrat class? Yes, and मेरे वो मेरे first place मिल गया था क्योंकि मैंने internet use किया था recipe. Oh, for the recipe. That's good. आप दिखाएँ please. Okay. How did you How did you find the recipe? What did you do? Um, basically, I typed in um, you know, chocolate chip cookies, and I went to an auntie's house, and um, me and my friend together made some cookies for our year groups. Okay. And then. And yeah, then you found it. a recipe for cupcakes yeah. as well. Oh yeah, so I think I think we need to check those, don't we? How they taste? Who's going to have a taste? Uh, 
Why is they can? I think it should be. I think Sakib. Daniel Gahad I know. Daniel Gahad Sakib, have a taste. Okay, you have to taste it and see whether it's good enough. Albo bol ke jo abhi apne sikha. Khane se pehle. Yeah. Did you say your dua before eating? Mm. <laughs> you can say it now because we forgot. Bol so excited about eating the cake. Abhi apne sikha. Abhi ab bol ke. Sakib, agar khane ke darmiyan mein apko yaad aaye to phir ab Bismillah hai, abalo hu, aakhir hu padte hain. Theek hai? It's good. Yeah, good. Well done. Exactly. Chale. Next, Aiza. Going on the internet to find how to make stuffed, stuffed animals. <sighs> I made this owl, owl. Yeah. and it, it does was look like an owl. <laughs> and it was for my Nasirat homework. Yeah. We had to make a stuffed animal, and and we had to in my ishtama and we had to also make a pencil pot is the fa ishtama mein aap ki age ki nasrat nahi lena hai na to isliye aapne nasrat class mein banaya tha ji and i also helped somebody else make one too or <laughs> dolls bhi aur uske kapde bhi wo bhi banaya and ji wo sari interfered chale saleha aapne bhi kuch dikhana hai i used the internet for doing my homework when i researched on the romans mm mm-hmm. good and you did you do well Yeah, and then my teacher also wrote well researched Salia. Yeah, good. Jee Navid. Oh yes. Jee, you have to hear Navid. Navid and, and Sakib always do such beautiful calligraphy in the Arabic. Um, when the concluding break, uh, um, like like our translation be like. Mashallah, mashallah. Does it take you long to write? The writing is keep up here. It takes you a long time to get it perfect. And when the importance of Allah's prayers be like a hadith. or translation be like does it does it help you to remember when you've written it down yes is that you find it the easiest way yes Good. and um sakib mene bi to turu dawali kiya turn all around niche flower translation be like okay. okay. urdu ki bhi aur mein allah ka naam bhi likha phool ke sath oh your urdu writing is also very good isn't it mashallah mashallah well done what a chat Okay. So we've got some emails um that we can share. Um and this is this is a very short sweet message that we've received from Absar and it just says I love kids time. So we don't know where Absar is from, but thank you very much for your email. Um and we've got another one and it says aapka show mujhe bahut acha lagta hai and I love kids time. And then smile karo aage se. So that everybody's enjoying and watching watching our program. Um and then this one is says um assalamu alaikum. Um dear Shahzad Baji and Mansur Baji. Um my name is Naima Noor and I live in Calgary, Canada. I'm 10 years old. I have two younger brothers, Dafim 9 years old and Jazib 4 years old. And she's saying salam to all my friends in the program. Wa alaikum assalam. Um and she says barakatuhu. Kya kehte hain? Wa alaikum assalam. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And she says I would love to come to your program if I ever visit the UK and my family always watch your program and we like it very much. So it's nice that viewers all over the world are watching us and joining in with us. Iske sath hi hamare program ka waqt ab khatam hota hai. Wo sare bachche jo MTA pe hamara ye program dekh rahe hain, wo hame email kar sakte hain, hame khat likh sakte hain, hamara aur hame video message bhi kar sakte hain. Hamara email address hai kids time at mta.tv aur hamara poster address hai kids time mta international 181 london road modern surrey aur hamara post code hai sm45pt agar aap kisi wajah se hamara ye program mta pe nahi dekh paaye hain to aap ise youtube par bhi dekh sakte hain aap youtube ki search bar par type kijiye mta online 1 kids time apna bahut sa khayal rakhiyega agle hafte kuch nayi duaon ke sath और आपकी खिदमत में हाजिर होंगे तब तक के लिए अस्सलाम वालेकुम व रहमतुल्लाह व बरकातहू व अलैकुम अस्सलाम व रहमतुल्लाह व बरकातहू